G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal guinea pig and today I've got something special for you. First of all, I've got a special guest for you today, Sir Daniel. This okay. is my partner in life and um, he's going to be with my sidekick for the video today. Today we're going to be doing a different style of video. It's actually two different types of videos all in one. The video was created by two lovely ladies on YouTube. Their names are Emily Hanhan and Teresa is Dead. And if you want all of their details, you should definitely go and check them out. But just a little bit of a disclaimer, they're real people. They're going to tell you how it is and they don't hold back. So if you've got children around, maybe just be a little bit precautionary because they are upfront and there is a little bit of swearing involved a little bit like my own channel but you should definitely check them out they are fantastic ladies the whole style of this video is a little bit like a um uh new release makeup and a makeup bingo so the video is called Makeup Nonsense Bingo and the idea of it is Emily and Teresa have created these cards that are specifically based around um, makeup like uh, for example there'll be things like um uh based on a new ColourPop uh, sort of uh, release or a rainbow palette style release or something like that and um, we're going to randomly generate numbers. I've picked 35 new makeup releases, actually sorry, scrap that, I've picked 34 makeup releases. I'm going to use a number generator and um, generate the numbers between 1 to 34 and figure out what they are and then we're going to discuss the makeup and whether we like it or not. Just another little bit of a disclaimer though, anything that we talk about, if we don't like it, that doesn't mean that the makeup is bad, it just means that personally it's not for us and it's perfectly fine if you like it, this is not hate, this is just a bit of fun. And um, if we end up checking off any of the makeup on our bingo cards, we get to have a drink. So tonight I'm drinking a little bit of melon liqueur and my partner Daniel is drinking... Just go well. Bourbon? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of a starter, so we'll let's just try that. Mmm, mm, that's good. Anyway, if you want to see more of this video and um, have a little bit of fun, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Alright, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to random.org and we're going to pick a number, well it's going to generate a number between 1 and 34 and then we'll figure out on the list what makeup item that is and we'll have a bit of a gas bag about it. So the first one that we've got is number 16. So, number 16. That will be the Strawberry Dreams palette. And um, I remember when this first they did the sneak peek of this, the front, which is right here, the front of the um, palette looked absolutely gorgeous and I sort of just assumed that it was going to be like um, you know, strawberries, pinks, creams and stuff like that and I wasn't really into it, like I liked the idea of the um, outside of the packaging, it was absolutely gorgeous, but then when they sort of showed us exactly what's inside, I'm just like, yeah, nah, so, um, it's just, it's not my thing, it just, it, to me it doesn't make any sense, um, you know, having blues and, I get the pinks, I get the greens, but I don't get the silvers and, you know, um, yeah, I just, I just, don't get the idea of the palette so personally for me it that's definitely a pass and uh yeah i don't know what else i can say about that um well, i usually associate blues and stuff in makeup to sci-fi yeah. uh, just just me yeah now so this one's a big pass for both of us so just checking to see whether it's on our list and it comes under the millennial pink so we can definitely stamp that one off and have a drink cheers Biggies. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Moving on, the next number generated is number 17. And that is... The Vivo Colourpop Collection. Um... I don't know what to say about this. I, it doesn't really excite me that much. I think the packaging is beautiful. And, um... I do like the top two, um, shades. The, the pinky purple and the blue, but... It doesn't really do much for me other like yeah I, do, I don't want to run out and race out and get it and yeah yeah not much of an opinion myself I yeah, it doesn't jump out at me but nice packaging though yeah it doesn't do it for me um and I think this is a um, uh, somebody that's not known for makeup I think this is based on oh what's her name um, 
I think this is a collaboration between Becky G and um, she's not known for makeup as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure that she's a singer based off, uh, I believe she started um, singing covers on YouTube and now she's a little bit famous I think, but really honestly I don't know anything about her. So um, we definitely get to do another stamp and another drink for this one because this is someone not known for their makeup. So here we go. Mm. I'm here for the drinking. Mm. I too. That was good. That's good. Alright, moving on to the next number. The next number is number one, and that is the NYX lip crayons. Um, what can I say? They're just, they're, they're lip crayons, so basically it's just a lipstick in crayon form. It's not a very bright range. No, no, it's definitely a lot of sort of nudie colours and a lot of safe colours with the exception of, you know, some um, slight sort of reds and purples and deeper browns, but pretty much all nude and um, I like the idea of lip crayons, but to be honest with you, when I have lip crayons in my collection, I don't actually use them. Um, I like the idea that it's easier to line the lips and then fill it in, but um, it's just not sort of something that I think of buying all the time. It's just a little bit... I know, a little bit inconvenient, but I like the idea of it, and um, yeah, I probably will pop out and actually try some myself, but other than that, they're like, yeah, okay, yeah, cool, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting copycat vibes from um, Colourpop's, um, what is it, Lip Tint? Yeah, Lip Tints or something like that. A lot of uh, companies right now are actually already doing lip crayons. So, I mean, I don't know whether these guys came out with the idea first or they're sort of, you know, riding on the coattails of anybody else. But um, we're going to go with copycat vibes on this one, and that's a stamp on our card. So we get... This is three drinks in a row. So, <laughs> all right. There we go. Oh. I moan every time we take a mouthful. <laughs> that's how good it is. Alright, so the next number we're going to go on to is number 23. Let's have a little... Menagerie... Mena, men, <laughs> this menagerie. Is menagerie Cosmetics Violet Palette. And, um, yeah. This is right up my alley. Not only is the packaging the bomb, but the purples inside. I mean, if you guys don't know, I freaking live for purples. I love everything about this palette. What I love the most about it is the colours inside the palette dictate the colours that are on top of the palette. So I immediately know what I'm going to get when I open this palette, and that's what I want to see. This is what I wanted to see with the strawberry palette before. You know, If you're going to say that you're a strawberry palette, I want to see mostly strawberries. I wanted to see multiple different pinks and creams and maybe even some greens, you know, because strawberry has a little bit of green on it. So, um, But this, this is what I'm looking for in a palette. I want to look at a palette from the outside and I want to know exactly what I'm going to get on the inside and I want this <laughs> and I think this is limited edition and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it but Hint taken <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, um, I think this is an indie brand so uh, yeah, yeah I think that class is an indie brand so indie brand is basically um, brands that are not like well known yet, okay. but they generally they generally pump out better quality makeup than your well known brands. Trying so. to get established. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I don't know, but <laughs> they just do. So yeah, I want this. Um, we don't get to stamp on this one. I can't put this on our bingo card. So mm -hmm. let's just move on to the number. Let's have a looky. Number four, which is the. Natasha Denona Coral Palette. Hmm. It's a nice little compact palette. You know what I like about this is that I don't get overwhelmed with ideas. Like I look at it and I go, okay, I could get one or two good looks out of this and I could continue to do it. It's travel friendly. I like this. I mean, I... I don't think that I would necessarily like be like, oh, I've got to have this because it's not really my colour combo, but I can see where they're going with this. It makes sense to me and, um... Yeah, I'd buy this if it was like purple or something like that or yeah, I think this is beautiful and actually I probably would wear this if like I got this given to me or something like that I definitely would rock it. So I I like this and um, yeah, I think it's beautiful and I think that it makes sense so. I think the colors are quite nice, but the um, 
the package isn't selling it itself. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying there too. So, um, the Tasha Denona is a little bit sort of um, simple when it comes to their packaging, even though they're a high end brand. So, or class is a high end brand. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I can't stamp this on our thingy, so we don't get to drink anymore. <laughs> Next number is number seven. Let's have a little look which one on the list it is. And this is the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection. Yeah, nah. Um, it looks like somebody just vomited sparkle in a palette. Actually, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Pretty Rich collection that they recently brought out. Except take away the green on the bottom, the second last one, and the two greens at the top, the sparkly one and the matte one. And you, yeah, pretty rich, except um, this one just, yeah, so this could have been gone down as like copycat vibes as well, but um, this doesn't do it for me. I don't like anything about this. It's too much shimmer for me. I got hooded eyes and uh, yeah, shimmers don't work for me. Not that I'm saying that somebody won't find it beautiful, but for me, I just like, ugh, no. It's not jamming out at me either. No, yeah. Not, not the greens for me, yeah. Yeah, I don't actually mind the greens, like um, this matte green here, but yeah, I don't know, I just don't, I think, no, it just looks rushed and I hate the dollar signs, um, yeah, it's just not doing it for me. And um, I, I think, you know what, let's have a look, let's see, I think we're going to put this down to the bundle that nobody wants. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. may, well, maybe Kylie wants it, but I don't think too many other people want it, and that's just my opinion. But we're going to stamp the card with the bundle that nobody wants. Let's have a drink to that. Ew. Yeah, nah. <laughs>
yeah, this is a definite like a pass for me. I can appreciate what they're trying to do here, but for me, um, it's just a, a pass. It's just nothing for me. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. And unfortunately, we can't stamp it. No, oh, okay. No. So, let's draw the next number. And the next number is number 19. Let's have a little look. All right, it's the Milk Makeup Lash and Brow Serum. And this looks pretty funky. And um, I don't know about Lash and Brow Serum. Like, I think it looks, it looks really special, but it looks like that it's too special to be a Lash and Brow Serum, to be honest. I don't know what else this could be, but... Yeah, a bit of a hemp theme to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this would have been so much better if it was like an under eye cream or... Um, uh, not an under eye cream, like an under eye serum or something like that. I think that could have been really special, but um, I don't generally use a lash and brow serum. Um, but I really like the looks of this, but I wouldn't buy it, but I want it just because it's like <laughs> this neuron green and it's, it's calling to me, so um, yeah, yeah. Not for me, but I do love the advertising. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Mm. It's almost got alien vibes, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, can we check this one off? We can't. No, mm. no drinky. All right. Well, let's move on to the next one then. And the next one is number 21, which is the Colourpop. Orange palette. It's not called the orange palette though. What is it called? <laughs> it's called Orange You Glad. And no, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I I can appreciate orange on other people, but I detest the colour orange. I don't like it on me. Uh, I've had so many people going, Ah, oh, you've got blue eyes. Put orange on. It'll it'll bring out the blue in your eyes. No. Stop telling me to do that. No. Um, I don't like the idea of the press glitter in the middle, it's not eye safe, why is it there? I mean, I understand that some people, you know, like to do face art with the glitter, but to me, it's definitely a drawback to have a non-eye safe um, product in an eye mm. palette. Um, I don't like that, and um, yeah, I mean, I can appreciate it, I think that um, it's got a nice range of different colours of oranges, um, so being a monochromatic palette. I can appreciate it, but it's just, it's definitely not for me. Um, it'll have to be a pass for me. There's nothing extreme orange there, it's just sort of um, it toned down a little bit. There's, yeah. 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 Nothing jumping out. It's definitely wearable. So, yeah, alright, well, let's see. Can we put this on our lip? Well, you know what, we can because it's another Colourpop release. So, no, no, no. Um, we are going to stamp it. See, Colourpop bring out something almost every single week, if not two times a week. <laughs> so, it's, it's full on. Yeah. So. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yes. Looks like you need another one. Yeah. Alright guys, so the next number is number 15. And that is going to be the Makeup Revolution Tonic. So, um, Makeup Revolution is a makeup brand not necessarily known for their skincare. And um, you remember how I told you that uh, Revolution Beauty before um, didn't really have one name? Yeah. Well, yeah. this is also them. So. Okay. Well, the bottles, <laughs> bottles look quite impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know. Uh, CBD tonic, <laughs> caffeine tonic, rose tonic. I'm very interested in the idea of this. I think that I would like to see other people use it um, well before I even give it a go. Um, I know their stuff is pretty affordable, but uh, my my faith in um, anything to do with Revolution at the moment is a little bit eh, So um, I, I'm, I'm definitely interested in it, um, and I'm going to keep a keen eye on it, but it's just not something that um, that really... Yeah, I think I don't think it's going to be great. I feel like there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, alcohol sort of ingredients in that, <laughs> which my skin doesn't like. So you know, being dry and crunchy and all. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting direction that they're going in. But um, I think I'm going to have to uh, just take my time with this, and I'm not going to rush out and buy it. So. Mm. Alright, um, let's have a look. Can we cross anything off with this one? Yes, we can. Makeup doing skincare. Well, there we go. Sweet. Fantastic. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. The next number is... Three. Three. And this is the Anastasia and Jackie Anna. Jackie... 
Jackiena? Jackina. Jackina? Jackiena? I don't know. I don't know. That, that'll work. <laughs> um, it's a palette. It's another palette. Um, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about these palettes. The Anastasia formula is supposed to be fantastic. Um, it's an expensive looking. Yeah, package. yeah. yeah. Um, it looks it looks beautiful, but it's just. It, I love the purple. I love the purples. <laughs> um, but there's not enough colours in there for me to want to buy this. Like, there's a lot of colours in here that I would never use um, personally for me. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's beautiful, and um, I think that it's going to sell like hotcakes, but um, I'm not one of those ones that are going to be racing out to buy it or waiting in a long line trying mm -hmm. to order it and being disappointed when it's sold out. So um, yeah, not, not for me, but I think I think it's beautiful, So, and I would definitely like to see how that purple performs, So, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money on just buying one colour in a palette, so um, it's a pass from me, but it's definitely beautiful. and. Um, we can't cross her off on my bingo list because she's not there. So let's move on to the next number. And the next number is number two, which is the Jeffree Star and Morphe collaboration. Uh, um, yeah, nah. What the? This? Why? There's nothing exciting on this palette except for maybe that that teal and this is yeah this is this, this doesn't look like Morphe or Jeffree Star to me I don't like anything about this palette um, I think it's too big I think there's a lot of repetitive shades um, you know they're, they're, they're too close to each other like this looks like a waste of money and space to me I'm not interested in this at all I'm not excited by this at all and um, I just don't like this palette it's at all Nothing, no, not e not even for that teal colour. Yeah, just doesn't do it for me. Hmm. No, that's a big pass for me. Um, but we, we can stamp it because it's an oversized Morphe palette. So um, <laughs> fantastic. Again. Yeah. Hmm. All right. How are we going here? The next number is. Mm, 22 and that is Fenty complexion products so um oh yeah <laughs> foundation and um I don't like these blush duos like when I buy a blush I just want one color one pen um I, I mean I could see why it would be convenient for some other people and it's I guess it's pretty enough like I like this top one here even though it's probably not very good for my um complexion but um the only thing that really excites me about Fenty, I've got to say, really is their lip glosses. They're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But um, I haven't really tried enough to sort of be excited by any of her releases. Um, yeah, it's just okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, it's just okay. <laughs> um, look, we can't cross anything off. There's nothing on the list for this one. So um, let's move on. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless there's anything you want to say? No, I... It's only open, you can't see it closed. I don't know whether there's anything sort of uh, appealing, no. appealing to the outside of the case. Or it's it's usually so, not, no, it's yeah. usually just like the, um, uh, is that an oxygen or hexagon? Uh, octagon. One, yeah, yeah, it's usually just um, either a reflective packaging or the white yeah. packaging. There's nothing really uh, exciting about it except for the shape, to be honest yeah, with you. So. Opportunities then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I think she's trying to simplify the packaging as well, so oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yep. Anyway, let's move on. The next number is number 30, which is the KKW Matte Collection. Let's so have a little look here, and um, it's a neutral palette, both of them. So pretty much the... I like the darker ones, the smoky sort of... Yeah, well this is this will be a Cool Tones, so okay. I, if I was going to buy it, it would definitely be the um, Cool Tones one at the top here. Yeah. Um, I... Look, obviously it doesn't excite me, there's not really a lot there to excite me, but um, I don't really have a neutral palette. And I like the colours that are there, but um, I don't have a ton of faith in the formula from what I've seen. Um, I've not yet experienced it myself, so I guess if I was going to, I would probably, I'd probably grab this one. Um, just to try it out myself and, and, and see whether I liked it. But um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like blown away, excited no. about it. But um, if I was going to try anything, it would probably be that. Mm -hmm. 
So I get that set something. Let's have a look to see whether we can cross it off. Basic AF neutral palettes. So Here we go. I Good think that's time. pretty basic <laughs> AF to me. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the hatch. yes, I need to make another one. Would you be able to do that for me, please, my love? While I find out what the next number is. Yes, with Dorian Coke. She's a weird one. <laughs> All right. So, our next generated number is number 5, and that is the um, Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Conceal Concealer. So, basically, it's a concealer that's supposed to be hydrating, so it would be good for somebody like me who's got dry skin, and it's an affordable brand. Um, I like the idea of this. Uh, I didn't go out and um, get the other one because I saw a lot of reviews that said it was like the shape tape and I've heard that the shape tape is quite drying but the the fact that this says hydrate um, it gets me a little bit more confident. It looks medicinal you know rather than makeup sort of thing. Yeah. Like sort of packaging. Yeah I mean it's definitely um, a, a cheaper brand and it's that brand that I told you that I didn't really have a lot of faith in but mm. um, if I was going to try something and hopefully um, let it uh, uh, re-excite me or um, yeah. give me confidence in the brand it would have to be probably this I, I would go out and I would buy this and I I may end up purchasing this to see what it's like and um, yeah so it, it although it doesn't excite me it interests me and um, yeah mm. but um, unfortunately that's not on our bingo card there's nothing there for it so uh, I guess we're going to have to go to the next number <laughs> so the next number is number six which is the I'm not going to be able to say this correctly, but I think it's the Kaleidos Makeup palettes. Kaleidos Makeup, yeah. Mm, so, um, yeah, what do we think about this? I don't get it. Um, even for small palettes, what are they, two, four? Even for six pan palettes. Um, I, I mean, okay, yeah, I can sort of understand the Aqua one, where they're going with that. Um, that this pink one... I don't see where they go. It looks like a little bit of mm, a mini rainbow palette, and yeah. I don't see why a rainbow palette would be. It looks like a set of stoplights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, it doesn't do it for me. I, I like a couple of colours in this green one. I love that um, dark teal, mm. and I, I don't mind the um, sparkly teal one, but I don't really like using um, shimmery eyeshadows on my mm. eyes. Um, but. I, I mean, I wouldn't go out and buy this myself, but I, I, I think there is going to be some people out there that really love this palette, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I think the packaging is smack on, like it's beautiful, but I just don't get the um, the setup of the shadows, the colours, I don't get that. So, yeah. mm. um, is this is not on our bingo list? So yeah. bugger, no drinky for us. All right, well then let's move on. I'm sure we're going to be able to have another drink somewhere <laughs> along the line. All right, so the next number is number 20, which is the Glam Light Palette Palette. So it's a paint palette that looks like a <laughs> makeup palette. Um, I guess 10 points for creativity, but um, it, it looks very bulky and awkward and... Uh, I don't know. Wouldn't be something you could stuff in your bag, I would imagine. No, yeah. no. Um, I think it's beautiful, and I think if a rainbow palette, it's appealing. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of bang for your buck, I suppose. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I would consider it if I was going if I was looking for a rainbow palette, but I don't know. I think the bulkiness that sort of just drives me away. Um, mm, yeah, it's pretty. And it's interesting, um, but I, I wouldn't, yeah, it's not on my list. I mean, the formula would have to be phenomenal for me to just, yeah. It, it, it looks difficult and annoying. Like, imagine trying to sit this up or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right, well, is this on our list? It is. It's a rainbow palette, so we get to stamp and take a drink. Beautiful. Cheers. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. So the next number is number... And number eight is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from Colourpop. So this is another new release. So what we've had... We've had three Colourpop ones popped up in this video, in the randomly, so... Well, thank goodness, because we've got a drink now. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we've already checked that one off, so oh. we can't check that one off yet. But, um, yeah, this is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, which is a completely yellow palette. What do they call it? That's a monochromatic yellow palette. So, um, I think it's beautiful for those that love yellows or the, those who want to start off with yellows because it's not too extreme. Even gold. Yeah. Mm, but it's got another one of those pressed glitters mm. that is not eye safe. So I don't know what you would actually do with that. And I think that it's a waste. I think that they could have put like a deeper yellow in there, like almost like a yellow brown so mm. they can deepen up the corner. I think that would have made this palette probably perfect. And um, I, I do want this because I've never really actually uh, experimented with yellow before and I think it's pretty and for $12 um, I think that it's pretty good. It's, you know, uh, obviously, uh, what Dan doesn't know is Colourpop has brought out a monochromatic palette in almost every single colour okay. of the rainbow. <laughs> and I already have the It's My Pleasure palette, which is the purple one. <laughs> and I want to add quite a few more of, of them. Yes. <laughs> and so this one I definitely want. I love this one. And um, the reason why we get to stamp this one off and it is our last stamp, <laughs> we got Bingo, is because this has got a pressed glitter in it. So we get to take yeah. our last bingo. drink and we have got bingo. There we go. Yay! <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, that's pretty much it guys. Just a little bit of um, chit chat about makeup, a little bit of fun, a little bit of drink. And um, like I said guys, this video was inspired by the lovely Charissa is Dead and Emily Hanhan. I'll leave all of their details down below, up here, everywhere else that I can. Definitely go and check them out. Mention where you came from. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you want to uh, stick around and see more content from us, and uh, or maybe Dan might be back, I don't know. If not, I already have a little bit of content and I plan on doing a hell of a lot more. So go ahead, feel free, K click that subscribe button. But don't forget to check the bell so you can be notified anytime that I upload. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, primarily I'm on YouTube and Instagram if you want to get a hold of me. And um, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, give it a thumbs down if you don't on the way out. See you later and I hope to see you in your next video. Thank you very much Dan for coming and um, Thank you for me, we'll see you later. Please. Bye.